Grandmaster Andrew Torok under Emil Bautista, Senior Grandmaster. Junior McLeod under, I was under Joseph A. Clark, now I'm under um, Grandmaster Torok. Okay, what we'd like to do is to show you some flow blocking. Uh, flow blocking comes into uh, what we call a category three block. It's a soft block, uh, avoidance block but it's followed more quickly with a strike similar to, say, level 4 blocks, which are simultaneous blocks and strikes. The problem with level 4 blocks is that um, it's hard to decide which to emphasize a block with a punch. A break cannot handle two things at one time. So what a flow block does is it covers your center line quickly and it gets you ready to do whatever strike you need. The most traditional blocks, nothing against them, is that you know the punch is coming so you can block and you can hit back right away. If something comes at you more quickly or unexpectedly, you're going to evade and block, and then you're going to have to find a way to come back more quickly. So our first block, Junior, please. Okay. So just stick your hand out right now, please. Okay. So if I get out of the way on this block, okay, I want this other hand to cover coming up. So it's this kind of a motion. Okay. So from here, it's here. Now, had he punched with that hand, I would continue the motion until I found an opportunity to strike. Otherwise, when that punch comes, I go here, here, we continue that flow, rather than a straight line motion, because an object in motion can stay in motion longer, whereas an object at rest has to overcome that rest stage at rest longer. So if I do a block here, you know, right how fast I am, I'm going to have a rest stage as opposed to a continuous flowing action. Okay, so to demonstrate that, then from a punch, so this guy's punching you, here, then I can follow and continue, it's a continuous set of motions, and you can work it inside or outside, so your hands come up and so on, okay, good, alright, then our next one is from a, more of a roundhouse punch, so Junior, please, okay, so here comes a big hook punch here, okay, I can do this, but I just opened my center line, okay, so what we do here is we flow through into a check. So from here to here. And now I can either follow up with a shot or another check and so on. Okay, so once more time, is coming from here, this hand comes up as I'm rotating through, I turn away, I do my check, and then I can follow up. So it's again a continuous flowing action. Okay? And all these blocks should always practice follow-ups depending on what might happen so you don't just stop with a block unless you totally get away from the person. Okay, now again please. The third one is if it comes straight at you and you don't know whether you're going to do which hand you're going to block with but it's going to be hard to do this block here. You may do this block here so this block flows through. And whether you do it off the rear hand or the front hand it doesn't make any difference. So you come through into that check and you continue that motion here. So if the punch comes at you from here Boom. you can follow through. Okay? So, now we like to work these on the bag as a drill side to side with a follow-up strike. And so, the first one we did was, if you're in this position, then you can be in this position too, it doesn't make any difference. Okay? So from here, this hand flows through here into a check. So from here, boom. That's where you're away from the punch and you can follow up with something. I could have done the same thing on the other side. So I can go side to side just with a practice, but it's good to add that follow-up strike. So I usually like to do a punch of the plexus with what's called a, a, a temporary block across the middle, and just in case you need that. So from here the drill would go. So you cover your head and continue the flow. Had it been the straight arm one, okay, where it's straight on, where well, you do this kind of a block and you could do the same kind of thing. It would block across. And here, block across and check, block across. And again, we would like to do that. So again, flow blocking is a continuous motion, evading the attack, but not necessarily counterattacking until you're in a position to do that. Thank you. Thank you.